integrated writing task. This task gives you the opportunity to demonstrate your ability to show that you can communicate in writing about academic information you have read and listened to. You will read a passage about an academic topic for three minutes, and then you will hear a short lecture related to the topic. Then you will be asked to summarize the points in the listening passage and explain how they relate to specific points in the reading passage. You will now see a text scrolling up on the screen. You may also find this text in the description box of this video. Now get ready to start reading. Turing Test Now listen to a lecture on the same topic as the passage you have just read. Philosopher John Searle has challenged the validity of the Turing test because it's premised on behavior rather than on thought. To prove his argument, he suggested a paradox, which he refers to as the Chinese room. If a monolingual English-speaking person receives questions on a computer terminal from a Chinese person in another room, naturally, the English-speaking person won't understand the questions. However, if there's a large reference that can be accessed, and if the reference is detailed and comprehensible, then the English speaker could conceivably break the code. For example, if a sequence of Chinese characters are received, the reference could indicate which sequence of Chinese characters would be expected in response. In other words, the behavior would be correct although the English speaker wouldn't be thinking at a level that included meaning. The person would be manipulating symbols without understanding them, or as Searle suggests, the person would be acting intelligent without being intelligent, which is exactly what a computer could be programmed to do. Therefore, at least theoretically, a computer could be designed with complex input that would allow it to provide adequate behavioral output without being aware of what it's doing. If so, then it could pass the Turing test. But the test itself would be meaningless because it doesn't really answer the most basic question about artificial intelligence, which is, can the computer think? Now get ready to answer the question. You will have 20 minutes to plan and write your response. In the description box of this video, you will find a 20-minute timer that you can use to time your response. Typically, an effective response will be 150 to 225 words. Essay Question Summarize the main points in the reading passage, and then explain how the lecture cast doubt on the ideas provided in the reading. Do you need someone to help you evaluate your answer? If so, send us an email and we'll gladly take a look at your response. You could find our contact info in the description box below. Thank you for watching our video. And remember, score well, go anywhere.